This isn't a joke. It's not a game. It's not a drill. It's real. You know, we got CNN calling here day after day, Nightline, asking why I won't call them back. I've I pretty much decided just not even to do it. They want to come down here and then interview me and then do whatever they want with it. And the reason they're doing this is they're, 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 they're putting me out there as the enemy. They're lying about who I am. And we're in very dangerous water here because we're having an effect. And, and, and the globalists, again, they'll kill a million Iraqis because they want oil and weapon sales. Uh, they will, and, and Americans mean nothing to them. My, my only protection is that I am vocal, I am out in the open, but I do need your prayers. I mean, I do need your prayers. I mean, I got the ADL calling for law enforcement operations against me. I'm an American who has free speech, and I'm here on the radio and on my own Internet TV telling the truth, reading government documents on air, and asking the American people, is this what you want? This is our country. I have an inherent right to my free speech and to talk to my fellow citizens. And all that matters is freedom. I understand how short life is. It seems like 10 minutes ago I was five years old. It seems like 30 seconds ago I had my first child, almost eight years ago. And I'm a lover of life and of goodness and, and of the truth. And I'm committed to my cause, and I'm not stopping. And the system needs to know that. No amount of intimidation, no amounts of demonization, no amount of threats, nothing not, not even threats on my family. I'm committed. And they know that. And they don't like that. Because they're afraid of the spirit of commitment that I have and that others have, that we bring on this radio show and that we magnify. If that spirit becomes infectious in their view, it's over. It's over for the new world order. And to all of you that see yourselves as liberals, as conservatives, as establishment, as government, Look, you're all having your way of life destroyed. You're having your future destroyed. And, and really evil, ruthless, corrupt elites have decided to go for broke worldwide. And I'm going to stand up against this to the end. It only makes me stronger to know I've been right all along. But I always knew I was right. I was reading their own documents. I studied history. And it only makes me commit more. It makes me grow up and be that much more serious. But they are Fox News, ADL, all of them calling for police to come arrest me for no reason. I've done nothing. But tell the truth as a citizen. I have that right. I've defended habeas corpus. I've defended due process. I've defended the Constitution, Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence. I've defended the Second Amendment. I've defended the First Amendment. I've defended Internet freedom. I have uh, defended our national sovereignty against the corporate banking takeover that's now publicly happening. And we're effective, and we have uh, reached out to millions of people, and they can see our growth curve. They can see the exponential drive. They can see the exponential effect that we're having. And they've identified us as one of the central engines, myself and Ron Paul. Also, Napolitano is being listed as a terrorist now. In fact, let's get Napolitano on about this next week. But I do believe and I do know, and I have faith in the power of prayer and providence, and just as George Washington and Thomas Jefferson and others made an appeal to heaven, and you know, we should make a T-shirt instead of the don't tread on me, there's that appeal to heaven flag. What was that, the Connecticut flag? Pull up the appeal to heaven flag. I forget what colony had that. And so I was thinking about a month ago, that should be the symbol of InfoWars, is an appeal to heaven flag. I appeal to heaven. God, I've, I'm not perfect, but I, you know I have a true heart, and I... I love the truth, and I love justice, and I, you know I have courage, and you know I'm ready for whatever's coming, but I appeal to heaven that, that, that your will be done, and whatever happens to me, please protect my family, but you know I'm not going to stop. This is an appeal to heaven, and I ask my listeners for this appeal to heaven. If we appeal to heaven together and then take right action against evil, God's will will be done, whatever that is, and then it's just such a comfort when I commit to this and put it on the altar of God and dedicate myself to the truth, and I ask God to purify me and sanctify me and help me be good for this great mission that you have given me. Thank you, God. Amen.